New York Times vs. United States by Blaze Doyle. The Pentagon Papers were a top-secret study by the Department of Defense of U.S. political and military involvement in Vietnam from 1945 to 1967. They contained highly classified materials and exposed government knowledge the war would cost more lives than being told to the public, and that the war was escalating even as President Richard Nixon said it was coming to an end. Daniel Ellsberg, who worked on the papers and believed that the public should be told what information they were not being told. Daniel Ellsberg sent the Pentagon Papers to the New York Times, and the next day, the New York Times had published excerpts and articles on their front page about the Pentagon Papers. The government obtained a court order to stop the publications on the grounds that it threatened national security. This is the first time that prior restraint had been used. Prior restraint is judicial suppression of news before publication, essentially being censored. Ellsberg said okay and then gave the Pentagon Papers to the Washington Post. The government searched for another injunction, was refused one, and appealed, and the case skyrocketed to the Supreme Court. In a 6-3 ruling, the court ruled that prior restraint was unconstitutional on the grounds of the First Amendment, or the freedom of the press. The court said that the First Amendment gives the press the right to expose deception in the government, which follows the Founding Fathers' vision. They dismissed the threat to national security as security being a broad term and can't be used to limit the First Amendment.